Hello everyone, welcome back to Linux Network. Today we're taking a look at OpenSUSE Lib 16. Now, if you're new to Linux, don't worry, I'll explain everything in simple terms. By the end of this video, you'll know what Lib 16 is, why it matters, and whether it may be the right Linux distribution for you. So, let's break it down. First, what exactly is OpenSUSE Lib? OpenSUSE is one of the oldest and most respected Linux communities. It has two main flavors. Tumbleweed, a rolling release that always gives you the latest software, and Lip, a fixed release that focuses on stability, predictable updates, and long-term support. Think of it this way. If you like always having the newest shiny software, you'd look at Tumbleweed. But if you prefer stability and updates that won't surprise you, Lip is your friend. Lib16 is the brand new major version. It replaces Lib15, which has been around for years. So, what's new in Lib16? This is huge. Lib16 gives you 24 months of free maintenance and security updates. That's 2 years of updates without paying a single cent. Lib now uses something called Agama Installer. If you've ever installed Linux before, you probably know Yast the older installer. Agama is more modern, simpler and gives a smoother setup experience, perfect for new users. The package manager Zipper now supports parallel downloads. That's just a fancy way of saying updates and software installs happen faster than before. Here's a big one. Lib16 now requires a CPU that supports x86-64 v2. In everyday terms, that means you need a computer built around 2008 or newer. If your computer is older than that, you can still use OpenSUSE's other options, like Slow Roll or Tumbleweed. By default, Lib16 no longer includes 32-bit libraries. Most people won't notice this, but if you play games on Steam, you can enable 32-bit support manually. Lib16 comes with SE Linux as the default security module. App Armor, the older security option, is still available if you want to switch to it after installation. Lib16 is built on the same foundation as SUSE Linux Enterprise Server, often called SLIS. That means developers can build and test on Lib and later deploy their work on SLIS with no changes needed. It's stable, professional and rock solid. By the way, if you're enjoying this breakdown and want to stay updated on Linux news, gaming and distro reviews, please hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell. It really helps the channel grow and you won't miss any future videos I post. Alright, let's continue. One of the coolest things about Lib16 is how much easy it is to upgrade. If you're currently running Lib15, you can now use the brand new OpenSUSE migration tool. This makes upgrading to Lib16 much smoother. And not only that, you can also use this tool to switch between versions. For example, you can move from the lib to slow roll if you want a slower paced rolling release. Or you can move to tumbleweed if you decide you want the latest cutting edge software. And of course, you can even migrate directly to SUSE Linux Enterprise Server if you need enterprise grade features. In short, OpenSUSE is giving users more flexibility than ever. Now, let's talk about the future. Lib16 is just the start of a long journey. The plan is to release minor updates every year until 2031, so we'll see Lib16.1, 16.2 and so on, all the way up to 16.6. .6. After that, in 2032, a successor to Lib16 will be released. That means if you choose Lib now, you can feel confident that it has a clear, long-term future. Even Lib Micro, the immutable server version of OpenSUSE, is following the same schedule. So, what does all of this mean for you, the everyday user? Well, it means that if you want stability, Lib16 is one of the best options out there. If you're a gamer, you can still enable 32-bit support for Steam and enjoy your games. If you're a developer, Lib16 is the perfect testing ground for workloads that may later run on enterprise systems. And if you're a beginner, the new installer makes the setup easier than ever. Lib16 really feels like it's balancing the needs of both regular desktop users and serious professionals. 
and that's open source lib 16 in a nutshell. It's faster, more secure, easier to install, and has one of the best support cycles you'll find in the Linux world. But what do you think about lib 16? Are you planning to try it out or are you sticking with another distro like Ubuntu, Fedora or Tumbleweed? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching, don't forget to like, subscribe and ring that notification bell and I'll see you in the next one.